Feels good to have space. Ah, I'm beat, man. So I've been fighting a, an infection now for a month. I've been on antibiotics for three weeks. And uh, I just haven't been able to do much at all. I get so winded. Yeah, the videos that I've been making have been uh, videos that were already, that I had already made before I started getting sick. So I ran out of videos. And uh, so I'm going to try to take these lines off today. That shouldn't be too hard. The, uh, the throttle lines, I'm hoping that the gas tank's not full. So, uh, Anyways, let's see what we got. Let me get these cameras set up. That bike felt so heavy right now. It felt like it weighed 5,000 pounds. Hey guys, how you doing? Big John with Jay's Custom Builds. I'm having a rough day today, man. Um, anyways, uh, I'm gonna try to take off the uh, the uh, throttle cables off of uh, my brother-in-law's uh, 2013 soft tail. And uh, normally you have to pick up the tank and you have to take off the air cleaner and all that to, to take that off. And if there's any fuel in there, you have to disconnect or drain the fuel, not disconnect, you have to drain the fuel to change those lines out. So I need to order some new ones, but in order to do that, I need to take those out and measure them because I'm not sure if those are the stock lines or not. So. Best thing to do is is check to take them off, check the length on them, and then add whatever length you need. So I think I need like two or three inches on these particular throttle and uh, cable lines. So uh, let me show you what I got going on. So the throttle cables are hanging right here, and they go behind the tank next to the frame, and then they come out right there. So in order for me to pick up the tank, I need to disconnect this bolt the one on the other side and take this little screw out. And then there's, I believe there's a bolt right under there. And then there's one on the other side. So I'm not gonna lift the tank out completely. I'm just gonna raise it up, put a board under it. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about so that I can just have enough room to get those throttle cables off. So uh, let's get started. So on this one, there's just the acorn nut here, 916 acorn nut, and then there's there's a bolt that goes through. So let me grab a 916 wrench. Better use socket, but I'm trying to hold it. There we go. Man, that was really uh that was really uh rusted on there. So here's the acorn nut and the washer. This acorn nut actually looks pretty good. Still it just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. So let me see how much gas is in the tank. Ooh, there's a lot of gas in there. That's gonna be heavy. It's a T20 screw that's on the top. And then sure enough, there's, this might be a T40 and it is, it's a T40. I'm wondering if I should uh, try to siphon some gas out of there. Okay. Ooh, that screw's like all corroded. Now, tank's, tank's full, but it's not, it's not that heavy, I don't think. So let's see if I can pull that screw out of there. If I can get a board. All right, so I drained the tank a little bit. Well, actually a lot, maybe a gallon out of it. So I didn't have to take the gas lines off. The gas line off here. I just stuck a board back here and raised up the tank a little bit just to give me enough room to get these guys out. 
So now I need to take all of this off. So let me grab the right tools here. Can you guys see? Yep. So I'm gonna take the air filter off next. And it's a good idea because I want to, I want to, uh, and there's not a lot. The minute you loosen these guys up, um, it doesn't take much. Make sure you hang on to the bolts. You put everything where the bolts are. I'm going to take this guy off as well because I'm going to get rid of that that filter. That filter is just uh, no good. It's it's actually shot. I'm going to get him a can in so he doesn't even have to. I don't know how he was riding the bike with this filter as dirty as it is because I don't know how the bike was breathing. It's uh, pretty bad. So I'm just uh, loosening up that screw there. So I can try to pull this out of here. Just had to use a little muscle to pull it off. All right. That gasket here. Yeah, I figured there'd be a little bit of oil down in here. All right, so that's all I really need to take off because what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this, this throttle body so that I can take these little... Uh, let me get some, let me get some light over here so you guys can see what I got going on. You guys can actually, yeah, you guys can see what I got got going on there. All right. See, it's kind of high. So basically, you want to uh, rotate it and pull this line because there is actual play on the other side. So you want to take that play out. So what I did was, see how this is? This is the one I'm working on now. You can see when I pull this, see that? But when you pull this back, it takes the play out of that. And that's what you want to do. So you can actually rotate this down. And then right here, you want to swing this back and there's a little barrel in there. And you just wanna work that barrel out. Let me see if I can get this. You might have to get some, uh, some you don't know those pliers. I'm grab some. So the plays, are, or you know what? Here we go. You just take this out up here. Is that blocked? No, it's not. Why is it? There it is. Oh, there's a spring. So the spring, goes down in this little cavity right here, but you could just bring this out like that. I don't know why I, when I'm recording, I really, uh, come on, baby. Pull this out this way. And there you go. And so that little barrel comes out like that. And pull that out. There it is. And that one's out. So now I can actually take that and measure it and see how much cable I'm going to need. So since this one's still in here, you want to bring it up and turn and bring it up. And turn. So we're going to need it to be a couple inches longer so this one just comes out of the back and then you bring it down and you bring it around it goes behind it and you rotate this one out and this is the one that goes on the first side there let's clean that up a little bit so you guys can see what i'm talking about so the first one that i took out goes here and this is the throttle 
the one that I just pulled out, the second one, this is actually the throttle to go run, 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 right? And then this is the return. Actually, it just brings it back, but. So let's pull this baby out as well. And that's out. So I'm just gonna measure these. Yeah, so the, the actual uh, throttle cable is just a little bit shorter. So I got that off. We'll leave that like that. I wonder if I'm gonna change this gas line too. I, I don't know how old it is. Yeah, that gas line's old. It needs to be changed too. So again, guys, you know, I take an opportunity to wipe everything down when I have everything off, so. So again, I'll go over this, but this is actually the throttle to open up the, the throttle, right? To open up the, uh, the fuel injection. And then this one is the return cable. So now I can actually order those cables and uh, grab a couple of inches on both of them. So now I know what I'm dealing with. So I can uh, go from there. So I got those out. I will get that fuel line and I got the uh, actual clamps that I can crimp on there as well. And yeah, we're good to go, man. So let me show you what I did back here. So all I did was lift up the back of the tank because it has that fuel line that you guys seen up there that goes from one side of the tank to the other. And unless you crimp that, you can't lift the, uh, the gas tank off of the frame. So I didn't really need to lift it off of the frame. I took about a gallon and a half of gas out of it to make it a little bit lighter. But all you do is step the back end and you stick like a one by, a one by, uh, uh, or a two by two to actually lift that up. And so it gives you enough room to, to be able to see. And when I feed the new cables through here, I might just end up going that or just coming back. But when you feed them through, you have enough room to be able to feed them through. You're not sitting there, you know, with the tank in your way. So anyways, so that's it for that. And let's see what else am I gonna do? I'm gonna order the air cleaner. I'm gonna order those throttle cables. Oh, and I'm also working on the, the master cylinder on the top because it was really, really messed up. You know how they just get all like, uh, they start to wrinkle. It got really messed up from, uh, and rather than ordering a new one, I mean, there's nothing wrong with this one's, this one's fine. So I'm going to do my best to paint it. Um, I don't really like, like I mentioned before, I don't consider myself to be a great painter, but I mean, if I can just get it to, to look kind of like that, you know, then it'll be okay. Anything's going to be better than the way it was. It was just, it was pretty messed up. And I might end up getting another uh, another cover, but if I can, you know, just touch this one up as well, that'll work. Because there's actually nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with the seal on the inside. They're both they're both really good. So, anyways, um, that's about it. So, oh, I need to take that brake line off there, so I can actually order a taller one. So I just need to just disconnect it from there, and then I already got it draining in that bottle when I took it off of the, uh, the master cylinder. Or you know what I might just do? I might just measure from here all the way to there so that um, I can get the total length of the cable. I'm not sure how they measure. If they measure it from actual um, barrel to barrel, I'm not sure. So I'll actually uh, call up uh, JP Cycles and see um, what they have. Or drag. I might call drag specialties so that I can get all this stuff ordered. But there's the the lines there. See, they're not that long. And uh, I think those are stock. I don't think those have ever been taken off. So whatever stock is, I'll just tell them that I need a couple inches longer. I'd say maybe three inches max so that he can have plenty of room to, to have the bars and kind of shape them the way you want them. I think I'm gonna attach them. I think I'm gonna attach them with small clamps here so when they come up, and then they're gonna probably come up through here or through here, I'm not sure. And then I'll just tie them off, bring them around and bring them up here. 
with some nice little uh, handlebar brackets so they're just not flopping around. So anyways, I hope you guys are having a great day and I'm not sure what I'm gonna get into because like I said, I'm recovering from a real bad infection and I uh, get winded and tired really fast. That's the, you know, the most I've done in a, in a little while here. So yeah, and I'm waiting for those, uh, the retainers to come in. I got the, the wrong ones uh, last week, I think it was. The wrong ones came in Took them like a week to get here, a week and a half to get here, and then they were the wrong one. So I ended up canceling those. I got to send them back. I haven't done that yet. And then hopefully the new ones will be in here soon. So other than that, man, I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank God that I'm uh, recovering from this crap. God is good. So I give them all the praise, honor, and glory. And uh, now that I'm feeling better, I hope I can get this bike wrapped up and uh, get back to work soon. So anyways, God bless you guys. Always remember to ride safe. Take care in everything you do, and God bless, man. I appreciate you guys.